definitely the bulk of the snow and bitter cold comes amid the holiday weekend here in western New York, but it is still going to be frigid when the kids finally go back to school tomorrow morning. You saw Autumn's D rating. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui is live in downtown Buffalo with more on protecting your loved ones at the bus stop. Ali. Well, Ashley, I'm certainly glad that I have a hat and some mittens on because it is cold actually downright uncomfortable out here. The wait at the bus stop tomorrow expected to be no different. That is why health experts are urging you to keep your kids inside as long as possible until that bus comes. Otherwise, make sure they are layered and cover hands, feet, the head and even their face if you can. It's important to limit the skin exposure when dealing with this type of cold. As for how long they can stay outside while well, it all boils down to what's on that thermometer. If it's over 30 degrees out, it's okay for children to be outside playing, but of course we should still check in, make sure that they're staying nice and warm every 15 to 20 minutes. Um, when we get to about 15 to 30 degrees, we should really be limiting the amount of time they're outside and leaving that to just brief periods. And really anything less than 15 degrees, we should keep everything indoors. So schools aren't likely to close tomorrow because of the cold weather, but it is best to be prepared. Stay with 7 Eyewitness News for the latest on closings and delays. Katie and Ed will be on the air beginning at 430. You can also have the latest information available at your fingertips using our WKBW app. We're live in Buffalo this evening. Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you.